One of the worst things we can do when we try to recognize another human being is to say, that is great, but. That is great, but. What impact does that word but have on recognition? Disregard everything I just said. Now we're bad at work and oftentimes we're even worse at home. Here's the case study that's gonna make some parents feel a little bit guilty. Kid comes home from school with a report card. Daddy, mommy, look at my report card from school. Five times I made the highest grade and one time I made almost the highest grade. If we're not careful, what do we now say, mommy and daddy? That is great, but why didn't you make that high grade every time? You know what the kid probably is thinking? That is great, but why do I have a jerk like you for a father? Well, I'm going to tell you a story of two emails, a bad email and a worse email to illustrate my point. When people go to my classes, I love for them to send me emails because it reinforces what I've taught and often they teach me many things. A father sent me an email and in America, the highest grade is typically called an A and the second high grade is a B. He said, I just lived that that is great but case study. He said, my son came home from school with five A's and one B, and I remembered your talk, and I said, son, that's great, daddy is proud. Then he wrote, my son sat there in silence. He continued, I said again to my son, son, that is great, your father's proud. Then he wrote, my son looked at me and asked, when are you gonna start yelling at me? When are you gonna start yelling at me? He said, I'm not gonna yell at you, daddy's proud. He said, my son was so happy. That's a bad email. Now a worse one. Another father thought that story was a funny story, the story of the other father. He sent me an email and he said, I told the story of the other father to my family. I thought it was a funny story. He wrote, my son said to me, Daddy, do you think that's bad? I made five A pluses and one A, and you told me that is great, but I've never felt so sad in my entire life. His son was the valedictorian of his high school number one student in the entire school. What message was he getting from daddy? Not good enough, not good enough, not good enough. If we say that is great, but continually to the people we work with, to the people we love, what is the message they get? There is no great, there's only but. Very important when you wanna say something good to someone in the future, do not say that is great, but